Hello everyone and welcome back to our paid vacation and welcome to Phuket, Thailand. Now, you may have heard of the Phuket sandbox and now the Koh Samui and Chiang Mai sandboxes. And this is Thailand's attempt to reopen the country to tourism. So there are several conditions in order for you to come and visit Thailand now. And we're going through the whole process and we're going to share it with you. So what is this Phuket sandbox that you have heard of in the news? Well, it's a scheme that the Thai government has created in order to allow vaccinated foreigners to come into Thailand and vacation on the island of Phuket and later on in other parts of Thailand. So what do you need to do in order to come visit Phuket? First of all, you are going to need to be vaccinated for COVID-19. And second of all, you have to bring a negative PCR test done within 72 hours of your arrival in Thailand. Getting tested is very straightforward. All you need is a nasal swab, which is slightly ticklish, and you usually get the results within 24 hours. You also need to book a minimum 14-day stay at an approved resort here on the island of Phuket. There are talks about shortening this time period, so make sure to check with your local Thai embassy at the time of your travel. You will need to show proof of your negative COVID test and the stay in Phuket. So make sure you print them out and have them handy at check-in and at your arrival here on the island. I can't believe this is happening. Can we all smash the like button for flying? Once you land in Phuket, you will be taken directly to your resort, where you will have to spend the entirety of your 14-day stay before visiting any neighboring provinces, such as the island of Koh Phi Phi, James Bond Island, or Panga Bay. But don't be too bummed about that. Phuket is a very large and wonderful island, and there are many things to do here. We are currently on the northwest part of the island, on Laian Beach, and we're going to show you around this beautiful national park. But first, Let's grab some lunch. We usually get a motorbike for getting around Phuket, but this time we got a rental car. And you know what? It's 40 degrees outside and we're happy we have air conditioning. After a delicious lunch, we went exploring around Phuket. Welcome to Sirinat National Park. Now, as with all Thai national parks, this place is absolutely breathtaking. And right on the beach. But the coolest thing about this national park is its proximity to Phuket International Airport. Yes, this is one of those really, really cool beaches where you can see an airplane landing virtually right on top of your head, right there on the runway. It's coming, it's lifting off. Did you like the airplane? This has to be the coolest pool that I ever seen before. It's an oval, a perfect oval. This beach was absolutely epic. This is Nayang Beach in the northwest part of Phuket, right by the airport. If you guys want to come, you can check out the schedule and see the airplanes as they're taking off and landing. It's super cool. Now we're gonna get back to our villa. We're gonna start packing our bags because this is our last night at the villa. Tomorrow, we're gonna move at an apartment. So we wanna show you guys what you would get in a villa and also an apartment. And I'll do a full villa tour for you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Good morning. Today is our last day here at the villa. And as promised, I'm gonna do a tour for you guys. And the reason why I'm doing a tour today 
is because we took off all of our stuff from here so you can actually see it uh, the way it is you know there is a method to my madness so check this out in the outside garden you do have a barbecue a little area to chill your own private pool and two lounge chairs and that is where the main master bedroom is As you walk in here to the left we do have a nice living room there is a baby stroller and a baby seat here so excellent for families and we also have this nice kitchen and it does come with a washer dryer so if you guys need to wash and dry your clothes really quick it's really really cool and here we have the second bathroom nothing special just a bathroom with a shower and this is the guest bedroom a nice queen bed and now for my favorite room here in the villa this is the master bathroom so beautiful bed and when you wake up you wake up to this so there's nice privacy here in your private pool and you have a beautiful bathroom so the master bathroom has a see-through window it has a shower in a tub and of course there is a curtain that you can close for privacy that curtain comes all the way down but check out how tall these ceilings are so nice and now we're gonna leave this area which is the northwest here in Lyon Beach and we're gonna drive further down towards Kamala Beach and we're gonna show you what you can get if you choose to get an apartment bye villa After you, my dear. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Hi. So we got this apartment. This is the Oceana condo building, I guess. It's a hotel and a condo. So this is a nice, beautiful kitchen and kind of LV shape here. And this is the living room there's a nice couch the owners are european i believe they're french so i can see they decorated it very nicely even the ac has a little cool cover i don't know why more people don't do that like it makes it look so chic and this is the guest bedroom and beautiful paintings nice storage and it does have a bathroom beautiful look at that rain shower wow and then we're gonna go back through the living room and go into the master so this is the master bedroom nice king size bed storage and it does have an ensuite bathroom the same style as the other one with a nice shower very cool and i saved the best for last because this apartment has a beautiful view. Check this out. This is Kamala Beach. And we get the sunset on here. So they got this really cool little table. You can sit here, drink your coffee, have your dinner and it's absolutely stunning. Honestly, this view is probably the number one reason why we wanted to get this apartment. So we got this apartment on Airbnb, and if you do rent it for an entire month, it's about $1,200. Now we do rent it for only two weeks and we're paying about $800. So you can see there's a big difference between like daily and weekly rental and monthly rental. Now you do have to pay for your own electricity, but it's relatively cheap. And the owner said for a whole month, you would pay about 2,800 baht to 3,000 baht, which is about 100 US dollars. So there you go. If you like a nice big villa that has its own private pool, the villa was also a two bedroom, two bath. This apartment is also two bedroom, two bath. And this one also has a pool on the roof, which is a beautiful infinity pool, but it's not private. It's shared with everybody else. So a little bit more expensive, but it does have a million dollar view. And now let's go get some lunch.
lunch today comes courtesy of Cappadocia restaurant here in Patong Beach. They have an amazing Mediterranean and Turkish food. So if you're in Patong Beach, you want to try some good Mediterranean food, check them out. And we're back here at our Airbnb on Kamala Beach. I'm going to go get some work done, edit some videos for you guys. And I hope this video was helpful in your upcoming trip to Phuket. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.